The real revolutionary class is made up of micro, small, and medium-sized entrepreneurs. They are not timid, shoeshine boys who run for cover when they see the police. They are forceful pioneers. <laughs> Boa tarde. Desculpa incomodar vocês. Estou vendendo o brigadeiro para tarde, dona minha mãe, se vocês puderem me ajudar. The principal enemy of these entrepreneurs is the legal system which excludes them. My name is Nicolas Liberato and I am an explorer, a dance teacher and a humanist. I'm also the executive director of Students for Liberty Brazil, one of the fastest growing student activist organizations in the world. My organization, Students for Liberty Brazil, is on a mission to empower Brazil's poorest communities. We want to give residents of favelas a voice in the legal system, advocate for their property rights, and help them enter the formal marketplace so they are no longer invisible. I've come today to meet Kuka, a fiercely strong woman who moved here 10 months ago after losing her home to a flood. Soon after she arrived, Kuka began organizing donations for children in the neighborhood, and she's quickly become a pillar of the community. Inclusive, já tem algumas coisas aqui, né, guardada aqui, para fazer a distribuição. E eu tô montando os kits, se você quiser me ajudar. Não, vamos, claro. A gente ajuda. Como é que divide aqui? Kuka tells me the name of her community is New Hope. Residents here bend together to create homes and livelihoods, memories, families, and lives for themselves. Kuka tells me about an entrepreneurial family living nearby. Leticia and her son Samuel make traditional Brazilian sweets, and every day Samuel sells these candies on the streets of Sao Paulo. Soon, I catch a scent of chocolate and coconut in the air. Leticia also brought her family to New Hope almost a year ago. They live lives of necessity and create value each day. Leticia is making traditional Brazilian sweets called brigadeiros. Around midday, Samuel will leave home for the bustling streets of São Paulo to sell what he and his mother have made together. On a good day, Samuel might make a hundred Brazilian reais or 20 American dollars. He'll bring this money back home to his mother. She needs it to put food on the table each night. Leticia and Samuel remind me of the classic American entrepreneurs whose businesses began as a dream in their garage, except that Leticia and Samuel live in a place without the institutions they need to grow and thrive. At the Students for Liberty Brazil, we're determined to change this. Brazilians like Leticia, Samuel and Cuca come to places like New Hope Favela for many reasons. Some come from the countryside in search of better work, others are escaping abusive living conditions and still more are starting over after losing everything. They all share a common goal, to survive. And they all face a common obstacle. They live on the wrong side of the legal system, which refuses to recognize the homes and businesses that belong to them. Because favelas exist on government-owned land, the state can destroy your home or seize your goods at any time forcing you to rebuild your life over and over again. This happens every day in Brazil. It is the norm, not the exception. My goal is to secure property rights for residents of the favelas 
and feed the entrepreneurial flame alive in so many people here. Porque o problema não está só aqui dentro, está em vários lugares. Para trazer curso de inglês profissionalizante, levar o pessoal da periferia até mesmo para ir trabalhar, porque muitas vezes sozinho é difícil abrir uma porta. E assim, trazer recurso para os idosos, para as crianças, porque eles não têm o que fazer. Sim. Então eles precisam gastar energia e aprender com isso, brincando e aprendendo ao mesmo tempo. É exatamente nisso que a gente quer ajudar. Eu quero saber assim, como é que é para ti fazer esse trabalho? de liderança da comunidade. Pra mim é muito gratificante, não? É, e quem o Samuel tá vindo? Ô Samuel, tá indo aonde, Guri? Eu acabei de terminar o brigadeiro e tô saindo agora pra vender. Tá saindo pra vender já? Eu posso te acompanhar nessa? Pode. Pô, então eu vou ir contigo. A gente pode conversar um pouquinho mais depois? Pode, vai lá. Ah, tá certo, então combinado. Tá bom, tchau. Muito obrigado pela conversa. Tchau, ah, tchau, tchau Samuel. Tchau. Vamos lá então, meu querido. E onde é que tu vai? Aqui perto? I was born in humble conditions. My past challenges made me who I am today. As Students for Liberty Brazil, we determined to increase access to property rights for people like Kuka. We want to empower entrepreneurs like Leticia and Samuel, who are the spark for creative destruction, for evolution from the bottom up. They deserve the same chance at a good life as any other Brazilian. Their future is why I'm here. Together, we'll create a more free and fair society where the dignity of every person is unbound.